Okay, so I'm back for the final uh, leg of the Grand Tour. Yeah, there's a quest. So I've done everything except for Owl's Head Sewers. So today is going to involve quite a lot of walking, or you know, gentle jogging, as it is. So we're first going to head back to Salt Town. I'm going to look at equipping a different set of armour. I think I'd get a set of chainmail, which is more or less the same as the plate. Because this armour's getting a bit knackered. And uh, who knows how bad the bad guys will be. And also the problem that the uh, repair kits only, only repair five on my uh, chest armour in one go. So it's 100 gold for a repair kit and I would need 20 of them to repair my founder's chest armour fully. Yeah. Five. Five times 20 is 100. And I can buy um, I can buy uh, augmented plate full set for less than that. So rather than continuously repairing my existing armour. I'm going to go and speak to the banker and compare what other sets of starter armour I've got and maybe equip that. We shall see. And obviously while I'm here still I will uh, check for the location of the Owl's Head sewers. Now Owl's Head of course is on a completely different island. So we'll be heading back to uh, Ardress and having to run through Ardress to get the ferry back to the other back to the other place and then there'll be some more travelling and you know given how it all is we can expect a few random encounters and other other interruptions along the way. Expecting uh, the Owl's Head sewers tour guide to be uh, reasonably straightforward, like the other sewers ones, and it's just a case of running to the end, uh, even if you then die after. Uh, watches are just annoying. They do seem to turn the volume down, though. It's a bit strange. Ooh, what's the blacksmith do? Ah, uh, see, augmented, augmented malarkey. Nothing there that's worth selling, is there? Yeah, make of the blacksmith. Let's go and find Martin the merchant and see if we get a better price from him. For my stuff. Not really, no. So it will anyway. Hundred and forty two gold. That's not really enough, I think I could buy one buy one repair kit with that. Right, where was the banker? She in here? Margot the banker. Hello Margot. So where is my armour? Can I not see it because it's not equipped? Because I've got it equipped. Maybe. Alright. Let's have a look 
character I think. So we can just review. Damage resistance 4, damage avoidance 2, damage avoidance, damage avoidance 0 0.6. In fact, it's the same except lighter. So, let's go with the mail. Is there anything else that's worth? Now let's switch for the Pilgrim hat. Let's go for that. Is that a starter? Ah, starter melee weapons. I'm sure I've got something already. Are there any other swords and stuff? No, I think so. Right. Let's have a look at this new armour. Yeah, it's odd that it's basically just lighter stuff. Because I've got um, Pilgrim Hat, there we go. Excellent. Let's just see what skill that um, right. I don't think it actually affects me, it was just a helpful message. Good to know. Right, quick chat to the uh, skills trainer. Crafting, right. I've got 12 points. I don't think that actually does anything. I've, I've had it not consume the node several times and it actually made no difference. So let's um, let's upgrade my mining, shall we? Ten. Look at that. There we go. I spent all those points on right, adventuring. I would at some point like to uh, get a phoenix going on. Undead, cool. So that's not all I'll have a look of it. Make my life spells more effective. Let's have a look here. Let's 
So I want to get that up. To save me, um, save me buying the power kits. What else can I do now? I'm only point three. Should I go for strength or health? Let's go for strength. I'm not sure if they actually even have any effect at this point. To be honest with you. Well, they mainly can carry more stuff. Now, I did mention in my Get Started video that NPCs can now sit down. And you can see, there's a sitting NPC. Uh, I don't know why he's sitting on thin air in the middle of the street, but he is. And it does demonstrate it's possible for NPCs to sit now. Yes, thanks. So let's just check the progress. Everything, I still need to do house head sewers. In the Hidden Vale. I know, yes, I know that. A gate just off the southern bridge leading into town. So I assume the southern bridge. That's the way I want to go. Southern bridge is the one all the guards stand on. We shall see. Manson is away from keyboard. So I promised quite a lot of running around in this video. I'm sure it's not disappointing on that front so far. Now I've got lighter armor. I do seem to. Have, I've got a better chance of casting these uh, these spells. So that might be interesting to try at some point. Invisible invisible me infiltrating sewers. Be pretty cool. Alright then, so not tree. Along the perennial trail. Oh and already, already we're into random encounters. Come on then. Come on and we go if you think you're hard enough. Wolves, okay. I try to attack a mist. Exciting. But I need all the money. 99% chance. Alright. Another wolf over there and some cotton. Let's go and attack him. Oh, there's two wolves. Three wolves. Let's aggro them all. Come on, you. They're all going down. Oh, I want to 
let's see if I can kill all three at once with this whirling blaze malarkey. No, is the answer to that question? Let's get my crafting experience up. Just a few bits of gold. So harvest again, but I can't harvest again. It seems like although they've put that in there, it doesn't actually change anything. Oh, well, so we've got a cotton plant here. Let's get some of that. I'm crafting my way up to produce a level 3. 3,000 away from that. I don't think the walls are really doing much in the... Um, 70. There's some more cotton over there, let's go and get it. I need stuff to sell. Possibly there's some minerals in these rocks. You never know. No, there isn't. We're out. Okay. And onward with the quest. Try and keep to the road this time. That guy really called Butko. Alright. And of course, it being a random counter, you have to you have to face a random direction after it's completed. Because what else would you want to do? Oh, so much quicker than me. Here we are in Ardress, which we will need to run through. Always a bit slow to load this one. Luckily, I've got some tea handy. So yes, this is already looking at the longest video with the least amount of tour guides in it, but never mind. I'll uh, maybe leave a note about skipping ahead. <laughs> to the actual tour guide bit if you don't want to uh, watch me running around uh, naive you're in Hidden Vale oh come on I get the impression it's going to be very slow today in Ardorus Hey, there's all them dudes that are running down the road with me. There we get to enjoy jerky running. So all oh, the watchers, because it's the same eye as the oracle, it's the point of the watchers that they're watching you. I, I am actually quite interested to find out what the story is going to be with all of this. A troubadour. What's a troubadour do? Stop walking away from me. Stop and chat. OK, 
Can I help? Well, no. Arduous merchant. Oh. Magic disappearing Arduous merchant. What can we buy from you? Nothing. Jeanette, the general store merchant. I'm glad you're a general store merchant. Will you please buy my stuff? Alright, I always have to be a bit careful here not to uh, fall off. If it lags at the wrong moment, if you're trying to get around a corner, it could um, it could all end in a. Uh, Access restricted. Good to know. Now, where's the exit? What's this one? Go to Kingsport. Right, there we go. It's over there. Dum dum dum. And we're off. Oh, it's just a merchant chat to me there. Did the general merchant said, can I help? Which was a key word. Maybe she has a quest. So I'll to come back and investigate that at a later date. So possibly, the best order of done this in would have been to do the Arduous uh, sewers. That's the fourth one, and then I'd have been already here. But you know, hindsight's a wonderful thing. I went to the places where I could remember where they were, rather than a sensible order of stuff. Oh, there's some stairs. in the right continent. And you know, looking very fetching in my hat, to be fair. Okay. So that's how I'll head over there. You can see it in the distance. I'll we'll just run over these houses. And along the 
this road. Head. And the past this has been another slow one because House Head is such a hub, or was such a hub for, for everything. But now that the Novia map is basically all up and running, and all the things you used to have to get through the through the portal in House Head are now accessible from the Novia overworld. I think it shouldn't be as busy as it used to be. There are still some um, some issues. I think this house head is the only place that's got a merchant selling salt, which is a vital ingredient for um, for tanning leather and stuff. And you know, it's a fairly major settlement, so it's always going to be a bit busy, isn't it? But it should be faster these days isn't it, than it used to be. And we're in. Interesting angle. Someone died there, look. So. I'm not sure what that is. Another the bank of Owl's head. So. Oopsie. Here's the bridge. So let us just uh, review what the uh, guy said. Uh, come back, come back. Come back, come back. Just off the southern bridge heading into town. So, can we see anything? like a sewer entrance Getting a bit dark now This is someone's house. Try asking a guard, shall we? Sewers. The gate below the bridge is closed. I would not advise going in. So it's below the bridge. Nothing like fall damage. Is that it there? Look at all these dead bodies. The house had sewer recorded. There we go. Enters the sewer solo party only. I don't understand what that. So does it mean solo or does it mean parties? Oh, 
Cool. Shadow form. How long is it going to last for? A minute. Okay, so what I understand is if I'm in shadow form, why can they see me? Skeleton archers. Imps. Skeleton archers. Not seen any tall guys yet. That sounded nasty. There's a the tour guide. Hello. Oh, yeah, I've got the first hat. So somewhere around here. There's a, uh, a whatchamacallit. Can I get out of there? No, I'm going to die, is what's going to happen. Oh, there's a ghost, I see. Skeleton footman. Oh, nasty. Chest mimic. Cool. The skeleton's fighting a ghost. Pretty cool. Still fighting. Oh, they were fighting the chest mimic. Interesting. Well, there's my dead form. Let's have a little uh, explore around. So I wonder if you could get through that. Oh, there's an interesting looking door. That was a tour guide, I think. Yes, yeah, so that would be an interesting. Uh, Interesting thing to try and break through. So my question is... You've had the danger of being broken. Okay. I think it's my sword he's talking about. No. Oh, the shield. Now oh, I do have another shield. There we go. Let's just equip that for now. I don't know why I'm still a ghost. I suspect that's a bug of some kind. Really, I just want to try my new hat. Let's see. There we go. It's dark. All right, let's um, let's go and find somewhere light to stand. And put my new hat on. There we go. That looks better. Come back and face me. Inventory. Fez hat. Oh, 
Virtue Fez Hat. My armor is broken. Oh, well that's a bit nasty. The Fezad itself has a durability of zero, which is interesting. Can I get more into the light? There we go. We'll leave Mojito in the background there. Take the screenshot. First hat, already broken. Excellent. So there you go. Grand tour completed. Next time. Uh, well, next time. I don't know if it'll be a next time. Next time might be R18. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, good luck on your own Grand Tours.